Hey guys, Hook to Clash here, and today I've got a question for you. What do you think is stronger, hybrid or zap hybrid? Today I've got two hybrid attacks and two zap hybrid attacks from this week's Clan War Leagues in Tribe Gaming. Honestly, I saw plenty of attacks using both of these strategies, and I can't tell you which is stronger at the moment. They're both really strong, and they both have their place on certain base styles. So we'll move into the first attack here. This one's going to be a zap hybrid by Lex. And you can see why, hopefully pretty quickly, why he, this base was chosen for Zap Hybrid. Look at this Zap value here. I believe it's possible that he can get all four buildings with five Zaps and a Quake. You don't need seven Zaps for these buildings. And look at it. With the Quake spell, he's going to get all of those buildings down. And look how, man, how much point defense that is taken off the base. But also, because he doesn't have those buildings here, he's got a much you know, smaller funnel for his queen. There's going to be a lot less damage on her, obviously, and it's just going to be a lot uh, easier to control his queen is the best way I put it. He also uses the blimp here with the, uh, with the yetis in it just to lure the CC and get rid of this inferno, and that makes this queen charge even safer. So this queen charge, if he hadn't zapped and if he hadn't used the blimp, would have been highly risky. But what Lex has done... He's made this atta attack much safer, and he can control his queen so much better, and that's so important in these attacks. Obviously, you'd prefer to have rages and freezes, but Lex is going to have just enough here to get plenty of value with his queen. Look at that, the Grand Warden nearly, you know, forced her ability just by itself. It's just a crazy building. Anyways, he rages through the town hall, uses, uses the Yeti to funnel his queen even more. He actually goes for a second layer wall break here. Um, I'm not sure the queen actually gets a lot of value from uh, the wall break, and he pops the ability there. But he's going to start with his hybrid at the top very shortly. And as you can see, yet again, as we talk about a lot, there's a really nice funnel here. Um, it's quite skinny, which is obviously preferred for hybrid. And look at that, the queen just got rid of that scatter shot at the end that's hugely important for this attack anyways it's a really nice funnel for his hybrid here even with the tesla farm popping his king's going to clear a lot out of it his king's actually going to get rid of a bomb tower as well which is huge value for the hybrid um perfect warden ability from lex there obviously you probably will in more cases use the uh warden ability first when you've only got one heal um, I know with normal hybrids, generally people go one heal, then warden ability, then the second heal. But because you've only got one heal for the hybrid, you've got to be a lot more patient with your warden ability and the heal. Um, so that's just what I would suggest, use the warden ability first. Anyways, this attack kind of looks like it's falling apart, but he's still got heaps of uh, miners up. And he's got this royal champion ability. She's been tanked for perfectly the entire attack. And she's just going to clean up the rest of the base. Pops the uh, champ ability there. She takes it all out. This was a really nice base identification, honestly. And on a lot of bases like this, where there's like four ground bows and a few scatters and singles around like the town hall, the zap hybrid is really strong. And we'll see that. Um, you'll see Itsu abuse that in a lot of his attacks, those bases with high DPS around the town hall. You can use the zaps to make it uh, a much safer charge, but still get all that value. So nice hit from Lex there. Um, we'll go into the second day, and I'm now gonna show you guys a hybrid attack. And this one's gonna be by Siggy. Actually, both hybrids are by Siggy. This guy is crazy with hybrid. And this charge is one of the more godly charges I think I've seen in a while. It's just beautiful queen control. So he starts with a Yeti down uh, at about 4.30, and then a loon and a whiz at six o'clock. And basically what he's trying to do, he's trying to force his queen to go into this uh, layer here, then around and up for the eagle artillery. And then once he's got his queen in there, she's actually gonna walk around yet again and get the town hall from there. It's just a crazy charge, beautiful control. Anyways, we're gonna go through it. Now, as you can see, he started his queen really well. There's no way she's gonna go up to that air defense there and rages perfectly, doesn't have to use a queen ability or a freeze, which is obviously ideal. Uses another loon and a uh, miner just to force his queen in for the eagle here, and look at it, she goes in for the eagle. Then he's gonna use this blimp uh, up here, and that's the purpose of that blimp is to A, lure the CC whilst his queen's not dealing with any damage, because look at it, 
There is absolutely no damage on the queen at the moment, but also to deal with that inferno that would have wrecked his queen while she was uh, taking out the town hall. And look at this queen, just, she behaves for once. And it's a nice change. Uh, obviously, I'm sure we've all had it where the queens are. The queen hasn't been in agreement with uh, what we want from our attack. As you can see here, this Inferno Baby Drag, despite the fact that uh, the queen didn't take it out, the poison took it out before he needed a freeze for it. So maybe a lesson to you all that the Inferno Baby Drags aren't that strong in the CCs. Um, anyways, we're not focusing on what matters here. And what matters is that queen just got the town hall and she's still going. She could actually get that back end scatter shot there, which would just be unbelievable value. Honestly, if you get that much value with the queen charge, it's almost impossible to fail the hybrid. Um, there's just not enough uh, base left to kill the hybrid. And we're going to see that here. Um, he's still got the queen ability, guys. And he's using a rage on his hybrid. So he didn't even use three rages for that queen charge. Just crazy stuff here. What a great plan by uh, Sigi. Um, the RC kind of has to deal with the king, which is annoying, but there is so much hybrid left. There is no doubt which way this attack's going. Great hit, Ziggy. Um, I remember when I watched this the first time, I couldn't believe you pulled off that charge. That was just sick. Okay, now we're going to move into the next attack. And this one's going to be a Zap hybrid. And this one's going to be by uh, by Huss. Somewhat of a Lalo player, even he's getting into the Zap Hybrid. But what I want to show you in this attack, more than even just the Zap Hybrid versus Hybrid deba debate, is how good he recovers this attack. So, as you can see, yet again, lots of damage around the Town Hall on this base. So, as I said before, this kind of qualifies as a really nice base to Zap Hybrid. Now, the original plan was for, let me zoom out even more for you guys. The original plan was for the queen to go in here and she's going to get the scatter and then keep walking down and even get the eagle and the queen. But as, but if I remember this correctly, the queen's actually going to pull this way and Huss has to change his attack up right on the spot. But Zap Hybrid's so strong that he still pulls it off and he actually wrecks the base just as much as he would have before if the plan went correctly. So uh, Zap Hybrid, even if it goes wrong, can still triple, just the same as Hybrid does, um, which is obviously one of the greatest qualities of Hybrid. Anyways, um, he's just dealt with the CC, and this king is going to be an absolute pain from here. He's going to clear way too much of a funnel, and it's going to push his queen back up. Thankfully, the king does get rid of the enemy queen, so you can't be too upset. But yes, this queen walks to the top of the base. So Huss, at this uh, moment in time, has to make a decision. How is he going to get this queen into the town hall, and how is he going to keep her alive? He wall breaks, uses the, uses the second wall break, and uh, just... He's going to, I believe, Rage and Freeze here just to get rid of the single and the Town Hall. And then he's going to hybrid in from around 10 o'clock on the left-hand side of the base. He uses his other Freeze. Uh, really nice Freeze, by the way. Gets both Expos and the Town Hall. And you're probably thinking this is quite a wide hybrid path, and you'd be correct. But the hybrid, as the base uh, continues along, is going to get narrower and narrower, which is obviously amazing. So because it's quite wide at the moment, he uses the Warden ability because the Warden aura is wider than the aura of the heal spell. And then as he comes out of it, he's going to use his only heal. But look what he did. He saved his RC and used her to take out this scatter shot over here, which his queen didn't take out. It's a really smart play on the fly. So, you know, quick thinking from Huss there. And look how much hybrid he still has left up. This is just crazy. Honestly, like, he wrecks this. Like, we, we were all on voice together, and it was looking pretty bad for a second, um, as it does when your queen goes the wrong way. But hybrid, man... And Zap Hybrid in particular is just impossible to defend. So nice hit to Huss here. And triple is a triple, baby. Now for the last attack of the video, we're going to go back to another hybrid attack. But this time we're going to uh, we're going to have a hybrid with a Yeti Bomb. And this Yeti Bomb is crazy. Yet again, Ziggy in the hybrid god himself. Look... Look at how much value he's going to get from this Yeti bomb. I'm going to uh I'm going to let you guys in. He's going to land his blimp around there and it's going to get this scatter shot cuz he uses the rage spell 
Looks like my cross was a little off, but look, those Yetis go straight for the Queen, take her out immediately under the Rage spell. Then they path beautifully through the compartment. And look at these Yeti Mites here. These little hero Yeti Mites are going to fling themselves at the Scatter and just get it down with the last Yeti Mite. Oh my god. Also, as you can see here, another, another added value of the Yeti Bomb in this meta is that the Headhunters will go straight after your Queen. So you can often deal with the Headhunters before the Hound gets there. So you could actually make a strong case for high, uh, Yeti Bomb hybrids gotten stronger since the Headhunters came out. Anyways, he's just dealing with the CC here, and as you can see, he's got a really nice path here. He's going to wall break on the arch tower, and then actually double wall break here in the core on that sweeper, and that's just going to open up so much of the base, and honestly, he's not going to leave much for his hybrid to get, because this queen's just going to get insane value yet again. Siggy queen charging the entire base on numerous occasions in this clan war league. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Um... And yeah, look, he gets the second wall break to work there, which is just perfect. The queen goes in, and luckily it's a multi in the core here. I'm sure he wouldn't have done this charge if it was a single. But because it's a multi, his queen's going to be fine. It doesn't matter that the inferno's on him. It's not doing a lot of damage. And he's still got another rage. He's, that's only the second rage he used on this charge, because he used a rage for the yeti bomb. Um, just crazy value and great by base identification realizing where the you know the high DPS vert parts of the base are and where they aren't and uh, There is absolutely no doubt look at that the Queen gets the other scatter shot as well There's no doubt. This is a triple we can start skipping through early It's only just hit 75% but we all know this base is wrecked look at it He still hasn't used his champ or Queen ability swags the freeze as well What a hit by Ziggy um, so I'm going to ask you guys the question I asked you at the start. What do you think is stronger? Zap hybrid or hybrid? Let me know in the comments down below or let me know on uh, stream. Um, I'm obviously streaming about four to five times a week now. So I'd love to see you guys on Twitch. The link is below. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon.